Lady Arabeth had never given Lily an official title. She went from being a simple instructor in training to becoming her subordinate, really. If she's to command respect, she must come up with an officious sounding title. Inquisitor General Black of the Lord's Alliance of the Academic Affairs, from water Davian creatures to mages unknown. Well, maybe not that last part, as that's still probably confidential. Her first task? Commandeer supplies from city storage and issue a warrant for any who've trespassed same said area, like these beggars here. Do business to ya. Oh, here's Phoebe. Thank you, madam. I ain't interested in any charity you might be given. I just don't have the interest in easing your noble guilt today. I don't suppose you'd feel any better yourself if you'd lost your home, let alone been chased out by zombies. It's just the beggar's nest, I know, but it's better than sitting here smelling the corpses burn. Of course, Lily's only curious if they've been inside what she's assuming to be the storage tower <laughs> without authorization. I don't want to think about this any more than I have to. Just leave me here. I have nowhere else to go. Inquisitor General Black informs the Beggar's Nest refugees to stand aside as her and her assistant go about official, confidential city business. Fair enough. Business hopefully not within sight of the city guard. Done and done. City storage. It's eerily quiet. Even the rats must have been spooked by the Inquisitor General. If she's lucky, Lily might find evidence of Perfectone Mercantile, the premier mercantile company that services Arabelle, Care Cornwall that's on the Munche Isles, Calimport, Long Saddle, its base of operations, Luskin, Oriland, Silvery Moon, Westgate, and of course, Neverwinter. One of the extremely costly services Perfectone offers, and Lily's sure the city of Neverwinter can afford it, is teleport cargo. Instantly teleport cargo from one city to another. Costs 400 gold for teleportation without error. If you're willing to take a 1 in 20 chance to find your cargo shattered beyond recognition or teleported into solid ground, you can pay the discount rate of only 325 gold. Fair enough. And of course, Perfecto Mercantile takes no responsibility for lost cargo in such cases. Done and done. Anyway. It would be an interesting way to get out of Neverwinter. In a shipping crate. It would have to be one stance without error, though, before Lily would even consider setting foot in it, of course. Done and done. Finally, something of value. Full strength. Only 154 more to go. Inquisitor General Black of the Lord's Alliance Office of Academic Affairs from Mortar Davian Creatures to Mages Unknown satisfied that this city storage facility is safe and free of trespassers both beggarly and bestial is finally ready to leave. She's also concerned about this examination required to obtain a writ from the Reverend Judge declaring her plague free. Presumably some sort of physical examination. She'll certainly not suffer as gawking eyes on any part of her naked skin, save though she willingly graces strangers with already. If he dare touch her anywhere, she'll sever the offending hand and put out his eyes like the main god he worships. Lily's not surprised to see that the halfling hasn't been hired yet either. And what nerve! He's trying to hire Sharwin! What in the realms has he done that would warrant a tale? Kissing fat Kalamshite girls and breaking out of prison. Ridiculous tavern tales for the drunken disorderly. At best! If this examination does require anything unseemly, Lily will simply have Sharwin take her place and then correct the writ with a forgery. But what if the Reverend Judge is in some perverse conspiracy with Surgol, disrobing unsuspecting patients using the Stone of Recall? Lily approaches the priest with one hand firmly grasping Ophala's letter and the other her gown. Greetings to you again. It is good to see you return to this house of Tear. Of course, this is Olaf. I hope there's been some progress with the search for Hall of Never's tomb. We raise the spirits of the city. Of course, <laughs> but it's not here on business of Hall of Never's tomb. 
trying to discreetly show Olaf the letter from Ophala. What? Let me see that. Oh, yes, of course. Please just keep your voice down. I'll get what you need. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, I do believe you're plague free. <laughs> that was easy. Here is the document you need. Ophala should have no objection to your patronage. Of course, this sounds like a bold question to ask while he's providing the service. Beyond, I think she'll dare. What? But look, Ophala has friends in very high places. The Moonstone Mask would operate without my help. I just provide a service. <laughs> and actually give her the opportunity to extort gold from Olaf. You know what? I think she's been given an offer by Giles for the artifacts. If she can trust him and will actually pay more, then she really doesn't need Olaf anymore. I think she's going to do it. She's going to blackmail Olaf. <laughs> Keep his secret. Demanding gold. <laughs> Is that all? Just gold? Listen, you. If I pay, I'll never acknowledge this complaint again. Is that understood? As long as he pays. I knew this would bite me in the ass one day. Very well. Here. 500 gold. Never speak of it again. I know I won't. Not only did she preserve her dignity and obtain the writ, she just about doubled her coin. Praise Tyr and his inability to bear witness to what goes on in his temple. Again, except this time by his own priests, no less. She's sure if she hung around the divining pool long enough, she'd uncover something equally damaging about Sergol, too. Him and the Reverend Judge, likely the twisted twins of Tear. Too bad the Twisted Twins aren't in the business of sating the city's thirst for drink. Looks like the ladies will have to celebrate with the refugee shelter's worst, after all. Common ale. The wailing does indeed change everything, doesn't it? Lily prefers wine foremost. Things that Lily likes and dislikes in no particular order. Number 158. Wine. Like. Of those, the traditional reds best. Arabellum Dry, Berduscan Dark, Blood, Fire, Cerulean, Escape Ruby or Winter. None of that clary or table, though. Spice such as raisin or cinnamon can be pleasant in moderation. But ale? Only as a last resort. This one happens to be Elminster's Choice, a dark, bitter, smoky beer brewed at the Five Fine Fish in Cormier. Even Elminster himself called it a second-rate ale. Mind you, the old mage didn't actually volunteer his name for the brew. <laughs> She'll sample spirits if she's feeling adventurous. The more expensive and more exotic the ingredients, the better. Not those sensational drinks for fool commoners like Alan Tal's Slurp Syrup or the Jade Dancer back in Waterdeep. Quality liquor, like Elverquist at 20 coin per bottle or Everescan Clearwater at 2 coin per tall glass. But tonight, Elminster's choice will have to be Lily's lack of one. Greetings to you again! Have you come to sample the delights of our company in the back room? Or is this about business? Alright, so Lily presenting to Ophala the writ from Olaf declaring her plague free. Well, that seems to be just fine. Yes, yes, I think you'll be alright. I'll gladly give you a key to the back room. There is just the small matter of a pass coin. Purchase one and you can spend as long as you like with one of our friendly staff. You can get the coins from the bartender for 200 gold. Remember to be on your best behavior. The coins buy you time, not consent. Only gentle persuasion grants that. Lily has finally secured private lodging. Exclusive? Yes. Expensive? No. On the contrary, Olaf's hush money has made it quite profitable. 
After selling the plunder from city storage, if you can call it that, they can finally celebrate their contract, as Lily likes to put it, even though Sharwan suspects the real reason is to celebrate their newfound companionship, and rightfully so. She's learning already indeed. She doesn't say a word about it, and pretends to be flattered that her mistress would find cause to celebrate it all. Inquisitor General Black and her associate are ready to find a room fit for the officials of the city.